our town, Ibadan. Ibadan was founded in the 16th century at a time when there was no title of Are or Nokakafo. This timing coincided with the period when some eminent adventurers migrated out of Ileife to found their own settlements. Ibadan by then was surrounded by Egba villages like Ido, Ojo, Ika, and Owu town of Irumu. This location gave the impression that Ibadan was one of the Egba Bagura settlements. The first Ibadan was destroyed by the Oyo army as a result of the unfortunate incident during Egumu festival when the secret of the masquerades was exposed. The then Alafin of Oyo, Alafin Shongu, Aribao Tashegun orders Oyo army to bring justice to Ibadan. Before the death of Lagelu, he and his children left Okibadon Hill near a water market and migrated to Oriyongi, which was later renamed Labosinde Market. During the reign of Bashor Oluyole, the name was changed to Iba Market and had remained so till today. The second settlement witnessed the influx of Yoruba tribes from different parts of Yoruba land, such as Isheri, Owu, Ijebu, Old Oyo, and Ife. The influx of people changed the character of the town. One of the most important migrants was the Owu group led by Oluwa Kinjobi after the destruction of Owu town by the Allied army made up of Ijebus and the Ifes as a result of slave trade conflict at Akwomu market. The reigning Olubadon gave her only daughter Nkamo Olubadon out in marriage to Oluwu to strengthen the friendship between the Owus and the Badans. One fateful day, Oluwa King Jobe and his men were returning from war. The angry river Oshun will not let them cross. The only sacrifice it demands was Nkamo Olubadon. Oluwa King Jobe sacrificed Olubadon's daughter to appease the angry goddess of river Oshun. Consequently, the Olubadon invited the allied army from their camp at Ikberu, led by Maye Okwande and Ife general and Lakonli and Oyo leader to revenge the death of Olubadon's daughter. This marked the end of the second Ibadan. We are talking about Ibadan city, Olubadan city town. It's a town that uh, pre-colonial days is one of the prominent towns, uh, very popular, very known with its culture, very known with its noble names. And you find out that the foundation has to do with people setting up for different places to identify this location and uh, we all forge, you know, we all forge the common ideals, communal ideals, cultural ideals, and if you look at it, the culture of the people, of we Ibadan, is very rich. Thus, Ibadan was again repeopled around 1820, not by the original founders of the town, but by the allied army consisting of Ebas, Ijebus, Ifes, and the Oyos. Maya Okwade from Oyo became the ballet assisted by Labo Sinde as Baba Sale and Lakonle as leader of the Oyo group. The Oyos and Ife settled at Ojaoba, the Ijebus around Isale Jebu, and the Egbas at Oko Yeosa. The Egbas resorted to Ibadan, which proved to be the rallying point of the Yorubas and later the bulwark of their defense against the Fulanese. However, as a result of interclass among the settlers, the Egbas withdrew in a body from Ibadan to Abe Okuta led by Shodeke in 1830. Between 1830 and 1833, the political supremacy of the Ifes was shattered after the Banomo War between the Ifes and the Oyos around 1833. The Ife army was defeated by the strong military power of the Oyos in Ibadan. This was followed with the destruction of Erumu, Ikija, Ojo, and other Egba and Owu villages. Olo was captured and killed in Erumu and was buried at the confluence of Oduoba and River Oshun. This incident forced the Owu settlers to Abe Okuta to join the Egbas on December 25, 1834. After the fall of Erumu and Owu Vasa town, the Oyo war chiefs returned to Ibadan with the rest of the people who joined the war as volunteers 
at a public meeting had to consider their future course. The world chiefs resolved that they now intend to make Ibadan their home. They should arrange for settled government and take titles. The present crop of Ibadan rulers did not gain control of Ibadan administration until after the Guanamo War with Olu Yedu as the first Oyo Ibadan Bale, followed by Olu Yole, who was later installed by Allah Avinati in 1839 after a Ledue War that marked the total collapse of the old Oyo Empire. However, the republican system of Obashi was firmly established in 1851 when Oyeshile Olubode succeeded Opeyagwe as the Bale of Ibadan and Ibikunle became the Balogun, Sumolalamo became Otun Bale while Ogumola was installed the Otun Balogun. The innovation became a regular feature whereby there evolved two separate chieftain seat lines, namely Bale Line and Balogun Soriki Line. The Bale title gave the holder mainly the civic responsibility, while the Balogun Line, comprised of war chiefs, had purely military titles. A strong government thus emerged not only because Ibadan continually engaged in warfare, but partly because those who flocked to Ibadan completely identified themselves with the new town. The traditional council Igbi Moelu before the advent of the colonial administration was the supreme organ of state while in the exercise of power. The Bale was the chief executive. Its membership was made up of high chiefs from both Bale line and the Balogun line, and the council decision on most issues were final. Among the most important issues deliberated upon were diplomacy, war, custom, duties, appointment, promotions, and discipline of chiefs, military, and security. The council had no staff of its own, rather it relied on those of the ruled for administrative functions, or the masses for mob action, the devastation plundering of compounds of offenders. The council had no treasury, the wealth of the state was kept in the private purse of political elites. Its pre-colonial history centered on militarialism, imperialism, and violence. The military sanctuary expanded even further when refugees began arriving in large numbers from northern Oyo following raids by Fulani warriors in Baden grew into an impressive and sprawling urban centers so much that by the end of 1829, Ibadan dominated the Yoruba region militarily, politically. And in 1893, Ibadan area became a British protectorate after a treaty signed by Fijabi, the then Bale of Ibadan, with the British acting governor of Lagos, George C. Denton, on 15 August. By then, the population has swelled to 120,000. The British developed the new colony to facilitate their commercial activities in the area, and Ibadan shortly grew into the major trading center that it is today. As a strategy of effective administration, the colonial government inaugurated the Ibadan Town Hall in August 1897. The main objective was to make use of the indigenous chiefs in the administration of their town, though they were functioning under the authority of the British administration. Between 1897 and 1901, the council comprised the Bale, Otun Bale, Osi Bale, Balogun, and 8 to 12 other high chiefs as a result of the native council ordinance of 1901 initiated by Governor Sir William MacGregor. The Bale became the president of the council while the resident was only to advise when necessary. Three educated elites were also allowed to be members of the council, namely the Right Reverend James Okusende, Nessas Foster, and Adetun. Rulers of Ibadan were generally referred to as Bale until 1936, when the title of Olubadan was resuscitated and substituted for that of Bale because the title of Bale was common and did not befit the ruler of an important town such as Ibadan. In 1946, the Ibadan Native Authority made a declaration under the native law and custom regarding the appointment of a new ruler of the town that Balogun eventually ceased to be the only successor to the Bale. Part of the declaration made in 1946 read the holder of any title 
in either the Olubadon line or the Balogun line in the rank of senior chief shall be eligible for the post of Olubadon, but the two lines shall succeed in turn. In the event of a vacancy occurring, chiefs in the line from which the late holder was promoted shall not be eligible. The chief tenancy declaration was incorporated into the chief's law of 1957, section 4, paragraph 3, and it went further to treat the 11 members of Olubadon. Ibadon, Ebadon, the city at the edge of Savannah, is the capital of Oyo State. Ibadan is reputed to be the largest indigenous city in Africa, south of Sahara. It had been the center of administration of the old western region, Nigeria, since the days of the British colonial rule. It is situated 78 miles inland from Lagos and is a prominent transit point between the coastal region and areas to the north. Parts of the city's ancient protective walls still stand till today and its population is estimated to be about 3.8 million according to 2006 estimates. The principal inhabitants of the city are the Yorubas. At the Nigerian independence, Ibadan was the largest and most populous city in the country and the third in Africa after Cairo and Johannesburg. Ibadan has 11 local government out of the present 33 local government in Oyo State. Ibadan Northeast, Ibadan West, Ibadan Southeast, Ibadan Southwest, Akiyele, Ebeda, Idu, Lagelu, Onwara, and Oluyoli local government. From the onward, Imbado grew and has served as the administrative center of the whole of southern Nigeria, 1946 to 1951, and the capital of the western region, 1951-1967. After this period, the city region started to shrink to cover just western region, 1963 to 1967, western state and old Oyo state, 1976 to 1991. Before the creation of Ocean State, 1976 to 1991, it has been the capital of present Oyo State since 1991. The political status of the city has influenced other aspects of its development, one of which is the reminiscence of colonial administration. The government secretariat at Agodi and the government reservation areas GRA at Agodi, Jericho and Oniriki are relics of that era. The grid pattern of the residential layout at Okibola and Okiado is also associated with its activities. Islam and Christianity are the dominant religions practiced in Ibadan. Christianity spreads all across the coast city to the suburbs. Also, next to the Olubadan's palace is the mosque where the chief imam holds his Friday Juma service sermons. Traditional Yoruba religion is also very important in the city of Ibadan. There are numerous priests and priestesses of the Yoruba deities known as Orisha throughout and some of the oldest compounds have shrines to both popular as well as local divinities that were brought from many different parts of Yoruba land. The Okibadan festival is one of many festivals for indigenous Yoruba spirituality that draw pilgrims from many parts of Yoruba land in Nigeria as well as Benin Republic. Other important Orisha festivals include the Egungu festival which celebrates the ancestors with masquerades, drumming, singing and dancing as well as the Yemoja festival and the Osemeji festival for the deity of Rumila along with the spirit called Ela. Osemeji is from the Ifa sacred literacy corpus that founded the city of Ibadan when divination was performed at its early settlement. The city has many Babalao priests of Ifa or the deity known as Orumila, Yemoja priests, Egungu priests, Oguni priests, Eshu priests, Ogun priests, and various others of the Yoruba pantheon. Monuments, landmarks, and other locations. Dubai District is the commercial nerve center of Ibadan. This is where many banks have one or more branches. The Southwest Regional Office of the Central Bank of Nigeria is at Dube. Also at Dube is the Kuku House, Nigeria's first skyscraper. It is one of the few skyscrapers in the city and is at the hub of Ibadan Commercial Center. Kuku House is the headquarter of the Old Investment Company, co-owned by all Southwestern states. 
Other tall buildings around Dubai houses include Femi Johnson Glass House, CBN Building, United Bank of Africa, Oxford Building, Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria Building, among others. The Boa Memorial Tower to the east of Okeare, which can be seen from practically any point in the city. It also provides an excellent view of the whole city from the top. Other attractions include Mokbo Hall, the colonial style city hall perched on the top hill, Okeare, the Trans Wonderland Amusement Park, the Cultural Center, Mokola, and the Oba Femi Awulowo Stadium, formerly Liberty Stadium. I happen to be somebody that um, belongs to um, the, the group of FOSS. By birth, I happened to be born on the 1st of January. I had an institution that happens to be um, first, not only in Nigeria, but in West Africa. So I, I feel good, I feel privileged to belong to this, um, um, this group of uh, first. Education in Ibadan. Ibadan is host to Nigeria Premier Higher Institution of Learning. The University of Ibadan, established as a college of the University of London in 1948 and later converted into an autonomous university in 1962. It has the distinction of being one of the premier educational institutions in Africa. We are lucky to have uh, a team led by Awulowo, you know, with welfareist kind of uh, uh, you know, political orientation. And you know these people knew that to be able to develop Nigeria, to be able to develop this part of Nigeria, you must you know try to put several first, 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 first projects in place. So we recorded several first because the first generation of uh, uh, Yoruba leaders were altruistic in their thinking, and we are also saying that that altruism did not just come out of the blues. It came out of the fact that the people were coming from traditional background of a very critical society. Ibadan is also home to the Shooting Stars FC, a professional football club also known as 3FC, Oba Femi Awolowo Hall in the University of Ibadan. Is said to be the tallest and largest hostel in West Africa. Other higher educational institutions in the city include the Polytechnic Ibadan, Leeds City University, Kola Daisi University, Federal College of Animal Health and Production Technology, Federal College of Forestry, Highland College of Technology, Samonda, Federal School of Statistics, Tower Polytechnic Ibadan, Ibadan City Polytechnic, City Gate Polytechnic, NIIT University, among others. There are also numerous public and private primary and secondary schools located in the city and its suburb. Other noteworthy institutions in the city include This school, St. Anne's School, the first girls' school built by missionaries south of the Sahara. International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, established in 1967. It focuses on agricultural and developmental needs of tropical countries with several research stations spread across Africa. The Nigeria Institute of Social and Economic Research, NISA, the Cocoa Research Institute of Nigeria, the National Root Crops Research Institute, and the Institute of Agricultural Research and Training, IAR and T, the Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria, the Nigerian Horticultural Research Institute, NIHOT, all under the auspices of Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria. In 1853, the first Europeans to settle in Ibadan, Reverend David and Anna Hindra, started Ibadan First Western School. They built churches and Anna taught at the new school. They built the first two-story building in Ibadan, which can still be found today at Kudeti. The first pupils to attend an elementary school in Ibadan were Yejide Olun Lawyer, female, and Akinyele Olun Lawyer, male, the two children of an Ibadan high chief. Economy in Ibadan. The main economic activities engaged in by the Ibadan populace include farming, schooling, and company work. Ibadan is a busy city but also accommodates an adequate amount of entertainment and realization. There are numerous bars, lounge, and nightclubs to enjoy, including the Lebanese-owned Coco Dome, which is the oldest nightclub in the city, dating back to the mid-90s. Clubs GQ Lounge, Club Switch, Click, Coco Dome, Options 247, Olympus X, 
Apollo Spans Mall, Infinities. The hotels also ranges in class and style, include Premier Hotel, Golden Tulip, Best Western Hotel, Travel House Hotel, A3 Hotel, Crown Hotel, Davis Hotel, Labot Hotel, and Kaka and Fo Inn, and Lafia Hotel. Public spaces and parks include Trans Amusement Park, Fun Factory, Agode Gardens and Leisure Park, Heritage Mall, Ibadan Recreational Park, Heritage and Coco Mall, The Palms Mall, Ventura Mall, and Indo Park. Media in Ibadan. The city hosts the first television station in Africa, NTA Ibadan, established as Western Nigeria Television, WNTV, 1959. The oldest surviving Nigerian newspaper in Ibadan Tribune, founded by Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Premier of Western Nigeria. The first private TV station, Galazi TV, in Oyo State, also started in the city. Also, Lagelu FM, which was the first radio station in Nigeria. Ibadan, being a well known army camp in the past, has the following heroes Arelato Osha, Ibaulu Yole, Bashoru Gumola, Kunumi of Ijaye, Ibi Kunle, Ajayo Bori Efon, Sakun Logele, Olu Yedun, Elen Peji Gon, Awen Ibaku, Foko, and many others. Ibadan Messio Goni, Olu Yole, Ilu Gumola, Olodo Bukeri Loju Ogun, Ilu Ibi Kunle, Alagba La Jaya Jaya, Ilu Ajayo Bori Efon, Ilu Lato Share on Okanka Fu, Ibadan Mwa Jorosun. Ibadan aja igbin yo fi karan fori mu Ibadan maja maja bitojo kini eto jala dugo gbogbon lokologun lo ki ba ni sore aimuni lo sogun Ibadan kure Ibadan bere ki o to wo ni bi o le tin gbe jare olohun bi Ibadan se ngbo ni le be ni gba jeje eleye le lomi ti teru tomo laye po mu a se jire lomi abu mu abu e ni Ibadan a ki waye ailarun kan lara ijagboro larun Ibadan Thank mm -hmm. you.